Introducing a brand new professional audio interface system. Combining state-of-the-art audio networking technology with Focusrite's 25 years of audio excellence. RedNet. We're here at the NAM show on the Avid booth with a new M audio product, which is the Venom synthesizer. And it's going to be demonstrated by Oscar, who himself was named after a famous synth. I am. So uh, tell us what it's about, please. Sure thing. Well, uh, Venom, we're calling it a uh, virtual analog synthesizer. So essentially what we've done is we've gone through and sampled some of the greatest, uh, most sought after vintage uh, synths of all time. And we have those waveforms available, all once again built within the, uh, the Venom synthesizer. So we really wanted to go for our own unique sound. So it's one thing to say, well, we have such and such waveform, it'll sound like this. But we've also uh, been able to take our, our own digital signal processing to kind of mash it up, mangle it up, to create a very unique sound, which is essential in this type of keyboard. So um, really what we're going for is that really aggressive, unique, gritty, modern sound. And we believe we've really um, we've done that with the Venom. Uh, as far as a style aspect, well, we wanted to create something that is, of course, sleek and intuitive, uh, strictly for performance. Uh, I only have two hands, so having 12 knobs, 16 knobs doesn't really make a lot of sense when I'm trying to play. So we've kind of really boiled it down to its essence to where we have four knobs, one button that'll give you direct performance controls while we're playing. So it's all about sound though, right? Is it going to sound really great and, you know, get a talk to talk or walk to walk? So um, really one of my favorite patches that I like using uh, is our bass patch. And you'll really get a sense of uh, that really nice, gritty, full sound. See that really dark, gritty, powerful sound. That once again, in modern music, it's a must to have that in your face, really powerful sound. So I really love the bass patches. Of course, we can do pads, leads, etc. cetera. Uh, and that is single mode. But the beauty of Venom is that we also have a multi-mode. So within multi-mode, I can actually layer up to four individual parts to create a patch. Now, another unique thing about that is that each of those individual parts can actually have an arpeggiator on it as well. So you can create really beautiful moving and flowing pads uh, by using multi-mode. So I'm going to dial in one of my patches here. And I just kind of listen to it over time and how it actually changes due to the arpeggiation. You can hear the various arpeggiators in there. make some beautiful layers in there that once again have life and flow um, and I, I love using multi uh, multi part just for, for that particular aspect of it but another actually uh, a great option for multi mode is a, what we call a performance mode in a sense so we have things like our our kits drum kits for example so we have our kit here all of our individual parts right but while we're in multi-mode, I can actually use an arpeggiator to trigger each of those individual components uh, of the kit uh, with whatever pattern that I'd like it to be. So for example, I have a kit um, selected right now. I'll play this. So this isn't simply a loop playing. It's actually the full kit being triggered by an arpeggiator at the same time. So once again, we're multiple parts. We have four different parts. So I can bring in my bass line which again has its own arpeggiator and its own sequence being played. Upper section is usually going to be things like your leads and uh, you know pads and stuff like that so we can come up with something like, uh, let's see. Now, we talked about the performance control earlier and um, this is a great example of the ability to kind of change things on the fly. So let's say I wanted a little bit more delay on that particular sound. All I have to do is select that sound and I'm going to use my performance control here to adjust my effects send level. So we'll give it some here. There it is. You can hear that in there. I'll give it a little bit more. So now I have a 
course, the whole time I'm creating on the fly. Uh, one more really unique aspect about multi-mode is that right now you're hearing the kit and you're hearing the bass. Uh, but my modulation wheel and my pitch bend wheel can independently control an individual part as well. So I could use the modulation wheel as a filter strictly for my kit. You still hear that I have the full bass part there as well as it's only affecting the kit. Same thing with pitch bend. I can kind of create some interesting um, fills as well. So I'll come up here and pitch bend it. And then bring it back in again. So from a performance aspect, really the sky's the limit. You have all the tools that you need. You've got all the sounds that you need in multi-mode. And you can create your heart's content. So everything I've been showing you has been basically what's on the board. Um, but you know, for somebody that's a tweaker, they want to be able to get into all those individual gray patches, tweak it, and create their own unique sounds. And for that, we partnered up with Visex to create a phenomenal editor that, once again, is as sleek and intuitive as the actual board itself. So within this editor, we have the ability to go through and change you know, the three oscillators that we have, the LFOs. We've got um, an amazing modulation matrix uh, that essentially allows you to do things like, you know, you might have a, a cutoff being controlled by an envelope in mod one, um, but use velocity and another modulator to actually go through and, and trip that one. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of possibilities, and at a 599 MSRP, it is an amazing product uh, from Avid. Can you show us a couple of things on the editor, please? Absolutely, let's take a look. So what kind of things can you do with the editor? Sure, well, as I showed you, or talked about a little bit earlier, we have our three oscillators here that are available where you can choose your waveforms. This passes into the mixer, which incidentally, there is an audio interface built into the Venom, so I could actually patch in external sounds, such as a microphone or a guitar directly in, and pass it through my filters and my envelopes to create really unique sounds. Uh, we also have our LFO section, so we have uh, essentially our three and a half LFOs. Uh, we can have an insert effect uh, per individual single patch. And then the modulation matrix is kind of the, you know, where all the magic happens essentially. So as I talked about earlier, we have uh, maybe number one might be an envelope two that's controlling the filter cutoff. But let's say over here on five, I want velocity strictly controlling modulator number one. So now, basically, you know, modulation is what's going to be, or excuse me, velocity is what's going to be uh, triggering my filter cutoff. So the possibilities really, uh, really are endless as far as uh, from performance and, and sound creation standpoint. And this comes included free of charge with the Venom? Absolutely. Free of charge with the Venom. All you have to do is plug in a USB cable into your computer and you're set, Mac or PC. Well, this looks like a great value package, but when's it shipping? Uh, it's actually shipping now, so you'll be able to get your hands on it uh, almost immediately. Well, we certainly look forward to reviewing this, so thanks for your time, Oscar. Thank you very much. Thank you.